Okay then my good friends of YouTube, another video on YouTube, uh, you see this strange looking CRT, I found it on the scrapyard some time ago, I'm not quite sure what it is, I think it's to do with some sort of um, laser equipment, as uh, this side, it looks like there's a, there's a window, um, I don't know if you can see in there, let me just see if I can take it off there actually, Let's see if I can show you inside, you can get my phone off the stand, tripod, See, you see that? There you go. There's a label just here. Hmm. I'm going to let me zoom in on it. I read it out to you. Hamamatsu Photo Multiplier Tube. There you go. Made in Japan. R375 and underneath there's a dash 84.8. There you go, guys. Read it out to you. Bit easier than this stupid ass bleeding Samsung phone. Oh, can't wait to go back to a HTC. Alright. Let's see what we can get this thing to do, shall we? Zoom in a little bit for you. Hopefully we might get this thing to glow. Or pop. I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. Hopefully we might get something happen. Alright, here we go guys, watch your volumes, it may be loud, it may not be. Contact. Oh, this is the EBS on the 150 KBX train. Oh, look at that. Oh, pretty light, can't see it neither. Corona, guys, is beautiful. That Corona is absolutely gorgeous, and a stupid ass phone, don't pick it up. There was a, from these two points here, it was just a blanket of Corona. Gorgeous. Smell the ozone. Eh? I'm going to turn that around and see if we can get it to do anything better. From an end to cathode, the bottom end. Right, I've turned it around, let's see what happens. Let me just quickly show you the light tower, I mean. There you go, you see, I've turned it around that way. Maybe if I have a bit of light on it, it might help the corona to see, to uh, show up on camera. You never know. There we go. So it won't do the corona this the way it's wide around the other way. The glass is so thin it's already bloody burnt through it.
just get that arc down there. Working its way around. Take one from there. That looks cool. I don't like glasses getting off. in there. Holy cow. It's actually eating all the phosphorus off the inside. You know the uh, the silver stuff? Well, I don't know what to call it if it is phosphorus, but it's actually working its way backwards and forwards there. Look. The arc is just eating it away like it does when you, uh, you set fire to a CD of an arc. And then you give it voltage and it just eats it all away. Pretty cool. The glass is actually red hot there at the top.
Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> oh, we do have a bit of Corona. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh man, it's so much better off the camera. I've got to try a bit of light on that. I've got to try and see if I can show it here. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> Just wants to go to the same bloody pin. Uh, just put the light on. I don't think this thing's going to let out at all. I think it's quite. Uh, it's actually got quite a few holes in the glass. I'll just take the camera off and I'll show you. It certainly took a beating. Come on, phone. There you go. Hold on one sec. There's actually some holes around here. There's another hole, if you can see that, just there. It's eating all this away, as you can see, all the way around. Bloody shadow. <laughs> well, the pins seem to be fine. Well, a little bit uh, cooked. Not like match heads. Yeah, I mean, that's for another day, I think. I'll have to try that one on the PT that with a bit more current. I think. Or try it on that. <laughs> 11 kV at stupid amps. Well, current. We're touching buddy half an amp that thing is so I thought I'd share that with you guys I enjoyed messing about with it I'm bored of it now because it's just not doing nothing so I'll have to uh, do another project I think or another video cooking something thanks for watching look after yourselves be safe whatever you're doing and uh, we'll speak again guys